Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is One Shot, where I review a single character or concept in comics. Today, I'm talking about gadgets. Look, comic books are the perfect medium for all types of gadgets, from flying cars right down to utility belts. What good are all those pouches if you don't have anything to put in them? I mean, it's just a prime ground. You work in the imagination. Why not just have the hero use something cool to save the day? But some things are more important than others. Say, I remember purchasing a Punisher armory and then realizing I don't care if they describe all the guns that he uses. The guy uses guns, but he's the more important weapon. Despite all the various gadgets that Batman has used over the years, even some of the silly ones, the things that I think most when I think about him is simply a grappling hook and a batarang. This man can get more done with a small piece of metal and some rope than anyone you could think of. Iron Man has invented countless numbers of suits over the years and right now I'm sure somebody on the internet knows the exact number. But when I see his suits, I just kind of take him as an expression of his intelligence. Similar to Spider-Man. Every time he ends up with organic web shooters, I cringe. Simply because web shooters were like Peter Parker adding something to Spider-Man. I mean, Peter Parker is what makes Spider-Man, but those web shooters is something that seems like it should be a power, but that comes purely from Peter Parker's mind. And it shows that he was always special, even before the spider bite. You might laugh at this, but over the years, we've seen a whole bunch of different things from Green Arrow. But all I can really recall is the boxing glove arrow. As silly as it seems, and as many times as the comics joke on it, it still keeps coming back up. There's things like Daredevil's Billy Club, which despite its usefulness, seem like pure ego. All the things that he can do with the tool of a blind man that normal people probably could never do. And finally, there's the image inducer. Lots of X-Men have used it over the years, but it's directly linked to Nightcrawler and his friendship with Wolverine. Here's a case where someone getting another person to not use a gadget actually enrich things even more. Not using it is kind of the whole point of the X-Men. You should be able to be yourself. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.